so we've made it to the Beacon in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It was also featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Uh, but I learned that after going to Harold's, let's check out the Food Network's rating. Right now, Food Network has it rated a 3 out of 5. Uh, Google has it at a 4.2. Uh, they raved on the show about their iced tea and their burgers aplenty. Uh, so I've got some misgivings get on, based on the ratings on the sh of Food Network. I've only given it a three out of five. So I'm kind of anxious to see what it's really all about. But here we go. So right off the bat, this is a good sign. Well, this was a good sign. The portions were so large that the box they gave me was larger than a shoe box, and I couldn't carry it with one hand without it spilling everywhere. So I was excited to see what it tastes like. Then I saw the meat, and I was like, whoa. Well, they say they make more tea around here than anybody, but I guess nobody around here makes tea, because this tea's not any good at all. Tony's ice cream and Gastonia is got beat hands down uh and the sandwich was buried underneath what they call a, a plenty and focus yeah there we go hell i don't know what kind of meat that is but i i did give it a try but i wouldn't feed that to my dog in fact i won't feed it to my dog and the onion rings have no flavor at all uh toward the end of the bite there you, you you start to get a little bit of onion flavor but the uh, there's no flavor in the breading whatsoever the fries are just frozen crinkle cut fries and it tastes like the uh, oil hasn't been changed in a month of Sundays so this has been two back-to-back -back experiences Harold's and the Beacon where the Food Network's online rating has been more accurate than the representation on the TV show but I've learned to take the reviews with a grain of salt. Here, Crazy Fish has only a three-star rating, but that's only from two reviews. If you look at their Google, it's a 4.4, and it's 987 reviews. So you have to factor that in. If you're in the Charlotte area, Crazy Fish with their gumbo and jalapeno cornbread, and 300 East with their Brussels sprouts and their ice cream sandwich for dessert are high on my list of recommendations.